Welcome to our video. I am Fonsongu. Today, me and my friend Dil Gentle Luther is going to share how we have performed the experiment to verify the speed control of three phase induction motor. And the speed of induction motor can be controlled by three methods that are voltage control method, water resistance method, and power changing method. Coming to the voltage control method, the speed is controlled by variation of the voltage. And the speed of induction motor depends on the voltage and they are directly proportional. As we increase the terminal voltage, speed also increases and speed decreases with decreasing voltage. Coming to second method, that is rotor resistance control method. This type of method is applicable only to slip ring motor and cannot be applied to square cage motor. And speed is controlled by addition of the external resistance. And connected resistance has a dual purpose that is, it helps in starting of the motor and also speed controlling. And the top, top developed in this motor is given by the equations. These equations and the S represent the speed, R2 represent the resistance, and E2 represent terminal voltage, and X2 represent the reactance. When the condition and synchronized speed is equal to the rotor speed is given, the step is very small and we can and neglect the R, we can neglect the S, X2, and the, the equation become this equation, that is S by R2, and the output of the mechanical uh, power is the uh, mechanical power is given by 1 minus speed and times power input of the rotor and the power input of rotor can be calculated by this formula. Total copper loss in rotor by gross to rotor in output times mechanical power. Coming to the last method, the pole changing method. If the number of the poles is increased, then speed of the motor decreases and vice versa. They are indirectly proportional and higher the number of the poles, lesser will be the speed, lower will be the speed of the motor. And in this method, there may be two sets of winding wound, but different numbers of poles accommodate in the in the standard stores. And we choose the motor having two RPM for the pole changing method. And we have circuit diagrams for three methods. Voltage control method is given by this circuit, and the rotor resistance control method is given by this circuit. And the difference between the circuits of rotor resistance control method and voltage control method is only the uh, addition of the external resistance. And the pole changing method has six poles, and A1, B1, C1 is high pole, and A2, B2, C2 is low pole. And now we are going to show how we have performed our experiment to verify all the theory we have shared. Variation of supply voltage. In this method, the speed of induction motor is controlled by varying the supply voltage. In this spectacle, we are going to use three-phase induction motor connected in delta connection. For this delta connection, rated voltage is 400 volt and the rated current is 1 APA and the rated speed is 1400 RPA. We are using the voltmeter of range 0 to 500 volt and ammeter of range 0 to 5 APA. We are also using tachometer to measure the speed of induction motor. In this practical rated voltage of 400 volt is given and its speed is noted. We are going to decrease the supply voltage and note its RPM. This is the reading of this practical and you can see that as supply voltage decreases, its RPM also decreases. Rotor rest and control method. In this method, we have used variable three-phase power supply, tachometer to measure RPM and voltmeter and ammeter. 
We have fused voltmeter of range 0 to 500 volt and emitter of range 0 to 5 ampere. We have also used 3 ray state of 50 ohm each. With the help of a small wooden beam, I am going to vary the ray stain of real estate and note its corresponding reading. Here, the ray stain is increased step by step with each position mark and later we are going to measure the ray stain of each position with the help of multimeter. In total, we have taken 6 readings and these are the observations made in this experiment. As you can see, as the resistance increases, the RPM of induction motor decreases. Pole changing method In this method, we have used induction motor having 2 rated RPM. We have used voltmeter of range 0 to 500 volt and emitter of range 0 to 5 MP. We have also used tachometer to measure RPM. In this experiment, there are two poles, high pole and low pole. Since speed is inversely proportional to number of poles, so in high pole, the speed will be less and in low pole, the RPM of induction motor will be more. We have given rated voltage of 400 volt and for low pole, its speed is around 2989 RPM and for high pole, we are getting a speed of around 1434 rpm.